welcome to our video on the Van Packers Dodge Grand Caravan Minivan Camper Conversion Kit. We're creating this video today as a supplement to our positive review of the product and to assist others with tips and accessories that we added when setting up our minivan camper conversion. We're hoping that the list we'll be providing below of products that we purchased will eliminate some of the research and legroom work that we did in setting things up. Okay, so let's go on to the how we have the camper set up in our van on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't take the conversion kit out, we keep it in. We have the stowaway seats tucked inside and we take the, the two Councils for there and put them back here and put the cushions in front. We use a black strap to hold the cushions from falling into the middle. This allows plenty of room here for putting groceries, etc., when we run our errands. Okay, so this is the way it looks when we're ready to, to leave um, to head out to the campsite. Uh, we've got our cushion set up in the back. Two decorative pillows here because you want to make it look fancy like your living room. Uh, we've got under here on this side we've got our EverReady battery uh, to power uh, the refrigerator and lights uh, uh, charging uh, uh, phones, laptops, etc. Uh, we also have two little lights. These are actually quite bright. Um, one on either side hooked on the hooks here and another one here and they turn on individually with a switch and when we get to the campsite we hook them up into the power over here um, we also have and I'll explain just a couple things over here on this cushion we found that when we first put it in it slid everywhere so what we did is we put some very powerful uh, velcro down onto the actual two units on either side and then I tried just um, putting the adhesive velcro onto the cushion. Now that was not successful because every time I tried to lift it up it the, the velcro remained on the velcro there. So I had to actually take the cushion off, sew the velcro on. Well worth the effort because now my cushion stays where I want it to be. And we have two larger size pillows for back on that side and let me just take you down just a little bit to show you what we do for our clothing storage to make it easy to access so you don't have to open and close this constantly during the while you're traveling so we'll take the camera and we'll just move it down and there you go now you can see the opening and what we have in here is and may, you may be able to find these at um, on eBay if they're no longer manufactured, but it's a mountain smith. It's a nice oblong, rectangular no, type shape with a zipper on the top. But after doing some research, because this is no longer available, you can get a soft side, soft side, uh, 40 gallon, I mean not 40 gallon, 40 can uh, cooler and that would fit into that same spot. So it should serve the same purpose. All right, so we've got the top loaded, we've got the inside ready, and so now we've arrived at the campsite um, and we remove, take all of the accessories and stuff that we have up, up top. Uh, we use one of these folding 16 inch, we actually have two of them, so we can both work on either side. Um, important note when you're taking the accessories off of the top, don't take your awning out until you're done with that, Other, because then you're not going to be able to access getting them off from the top on this side. So I've got everything down with the exception of one chair. Great. So now I've got all of the accessories set up. The next step in the process would be to go to the back 
and we're going to get the final accessories out of the back that are stored under where we removed the back row seat. Okay. Okay, so back here, we remove... Hang on. Okay. So back here, I would remove the cover. And I would pull out any accessories that we are going to use for setup. Um, first, I will show you, here is our mosquito netting that we put between the back here and the cabin. I've sewn the soft side of Velcro completely around this on all four sides and I have put the sticky side of the grip Velcro all along here and I go into the inside and I will attach this once we get to the campsite. And this also provides a lot of um, shade and protection you really can't see in with the uh, tinted windows plus this into the back the cab to the back. And then back in here, this is our toilet. And our two door side screens. We'll show you how that looks when these are put on. And finally, we have two fans that are powered by plugging in to the cigarette lighter um, and those hook on to, we have the hooks on the head, headrest. So if you need fans at night, we have these. Okay, so now I have everything taken out. Um, we're going to do a quick setup of when we get to the campsite, what we're going to do to set up the awning and some other accessories to get ready for our camping. Alright, so we'll move around here. does take two people to set up the this is a Dan show awning and I will have a separate uh, video that we're going to make on the Dan show awning and how to attach it to the Grand, uh, Grand Caravan because we found that it wasn't an easy process you do have to buy some addition uh, one of which was the cargo tray on the top but that was a huge benefit because now we can store accessories up there. But I'll show you in a separate video two options that we found. Thank you. 
here is where you need your helper to stay back and hold it. Preferably from the center so it doesn't fall down. And go in and swing out the side arm. On. We found the first time we used this that we did not have to uh, put stakes down, even though it was windy. With these side arms out, it was very sturdy. But there, it does provide them, should you find the need. We've also ordered the side panels, so when we're set up and the sun is coming in from one side or the other, we'll be able to have shade, plus a little more privacy if that's what we want. Quick and easy. Uh, ne next step, because uh, we didn't want to be dragging dirt inside and out of the van, um, we purchased this rug and it's uh, made out of plastic, so easy clean, just sweep it off. The rug is a 5x8, it's a 6x9 line. And we do plan to, Mark plans to put grommets in the corners so he can stake this down. Um, then we would set up our chairs on here, bring the table from the uh, inside that comes with the van packer, set that up out here, and I'll do that in a few moments. The other thing that we found, because this is so small, um, you know, spaces, is one thing that we did purchase, and this was a uh, three time effort. Uh, first one, first um, changing room toilet uh, unit, housing unit, um, we had stakes on it, poles, it was very difficult to put together. Second one we tried was a pop-up and with the wind, it was blowing, it was, um, you know, you're trying to stake it into gravel, it was really difficult and very difficult to fold back up for pop-ups. So we did invest in this one, which is a light speed, and it literally is light speed to set this thing up. And kind of, this is kind of one of those that we believe is a must-have. bring these bars up until they lock. A little more strength to push this off. Calling in reinforcements. into. It snaps in and then it's got this little hook. You just hook that on and then just push out the legs and lock them 
in place. Actually, they, they just click into place when you get them. It's a little e You can do this by yourself. It's a little easier when you have two people. got your uh, changing room um, and it's actually quite roomy but if, if you were camping in, in your minivan and you had um, smaller children you probably couldn't fit sleep somebody in here they like to curl up but it's got a uh, uh, on the back that you could um, obviously operator air Sure it clicks. Uh, it's got a where you can hang your wet towels back here, little pockets so you can put uh, your shampoo and stuff. It has a, you can hang a shower from the top. So we believe that's kind of a must have. Uh, great. Now let's go through the heart of the um, Van Packers minivan camper conversion kit and that's the back of the uh, kitchen and um, let me just show you a couple things um, first off uh, these wooden containers and I do have the, these listed in the list of items to purchase van packers this is a little hard to find um, van packers is really good about providing me with the dimensions that I was able to find exactly what I wanted on Amazon I, on one side, I store just your regular staples, um, and then we replace this food as needed. And on the other side is where we keep our plates and silverware and utensils. We have a plastic container in here that holds all of our utensils. We use some um, purchased from C and Summit, C2 Summit. Uh, collapsible um, spoons, spatulas, uh, we have collapsible measuring cups, everything that you can you purchase that doesn't take up a lot of space, um, just a small can opener. And then for our dishes, also from Sea to Summit, we purchased, and this is a combination, it all fits in this bag, but it's a combination of three different purchases. And the set comes with, this set of three, comes with your collapsible plate, a bowl, and a cup. We added an additional bowl and also the silverware set. This is really nice silverware. So that's our dishes, and then in this pullout, we keep our cookware, and in here we have a small frying pan, a camping cookware set. This one is made by Peak Outdoor Equipment, and it's just all of your pots and pans, lids convert into frying pans, all stacked together, again, another very good uh, space saver. Coffee. You could either go with, we went with a old fashioned percolator and six cup because of the size of it, it would fit in there. And um, so you could go with, if you like, four of a coffee, that would work well also. And this is also where we keep our coffee in here and a couple of coffee milk. I repurchased these from Home Depot and it's got a magnetic back on it and it recharges and when you buy it you get two of them plus the recharger. This is great because you can turn on the light and it will attach to the metal up here 
and that makes it really great for cooking dinner etc at night because you have the light in here and magnets are your friend in uh, setting up your minivan camper we have the we purchased the alpha pool refrigerator cooler and uh, we did find to fit it in here we had to remove one of the arms and we use as I said magnets are your friends we have magnet hooks that hold a pod holder a towel or washcloth, scrub brush. We took our soap in here, hand soap in there. Uh, we have a magnetic paper towel holder. I, there's this uh, metal on this. I stuck a hook on it because I might need something that I want to hang on there. Um, another mu absolute must have is uh, a small size portable fire extinguisher. You want to keep it close to your stove and so you don't want it tucked under there, you don't want it tucked in the front. So we found that this is a perfect spot for it because our stove is right here. And this is a stove that comes with the fan packer conversion kit. And then back here where you've got these little bungees, we have little containers that hold our salt, pepper, ham, some condiments, creamers, salt, uh, sugar. And here, where they've got the push, uh, push down sink, Mark uh, took, we couldn't get exactly the size, so we ordered close to the size of a cutting board that we need, and then Mark cut down the size so it would fit in here, and that makes for a nice, um, more level top for when you're cooking, preparing stuff. And that leads me to my third must-have, and that is this side table right here and um, comes in a little carrying case like this it takes about a minute two minutes to set up it also does include um, a little mesh bag that you can hang down under there um, as i said adjustable height and why what we found after our first time taking the, the conversion man out was that um, even though we had this space here it wasn't quite the way we wanted we wanted a little bit more space especially when doing dishes. So we would when we do dishes, then we can take the cutting board off. We purchased a secondary sink, pop-up sink. So then that fits in there really nicely. So you've got the soapy water to wash your dishes. You've got the one to rinse. And third is the pop-up strainer, which fits perfectly under the stove. So there you go. You can, you know, wash, rinse, dry, let them dry, fold them, I mean not fold them, put them away. Now the next item is not a must have, but it's a really nice to have. And that is this charbroil portable grill. Sets up very easily. We couldn't find a bag that was made especially for this grill, but I did find this other bag by Eddie Bin that'll be in the list that was the right size to carry the grill. And then we also purchased this griddle, so now we can make hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, and we can put the griddle on there, pancakes, um, French toast, bacon, etc. So now we've got another work uh, cooking surface, surface aside from the stove. So you're making breakfast, you've got coffee going over here, you've got the water boiling for doing your dishes, and you can cook the remaining part of your meal over here. Um, I think that takes care of the, the back of the camper. Um, as it showed in the, if you've seen the Van Packers videos, the, when this slides out, you can wash your hands, etc. under there and the water's not gonna spill in there. You can also fill your sink right from there. Um, 
Okay, well that pretty much takes care of the kitchen and now we're just going to do a quick um, walk through the camp um, to see what it's set up like when we're using it um, during daytime hours and then I'll show you when we got it set up for bed. Okay, so here is the toilet and um, changing room. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's there's the little toilet. It does not have the bag in it at this time, but um, as you can see, it's very roomy in there. And if you come over here, we've got two chairs. We brought the table in from inside of the van packer, set that up here. Um, kind of sunny so when we would have the side panel to put that up over there and that would um, you know make it real comfortable sitting here and then this is the can you turn the camera over okay and maybe bring some lunch this is uh, the roadie uh, door screen catches on here just beautifully uh, you unzip and you roll your window down and then you can get fresh air coming in without the mosquitoes coming in and an additional benefit to this is that it uh, provides more privacy with the tinted windows the tinted windows back there you've got the mosquito netting back there um, you really don't need anything further we didn't find but if you wanted to uh, we also did purchase the WeatherTech Weather um, custom size windows for the Dodge Grand Caravan. And we would probably use them if, um, you know, it was colder and we wanted a little more insulation. Um, we'll see as we go along, but we have it, have them if we need them. So that's it for this part of the tour. Um, just a quick break and I'll get it set up for bedtime. Mm -hmm. Now we're set up for evening, um, got the converted, took the um, top from the table, it also has another matching piece of wood, goes on the middle section between the two benches, put your three um, cushions down, and you've got a full size mattress, we opted to upgrade to the four inch mattress, incredibly comfortable. Two pillows here. We also have, each of us have a small little camp pillow that we take with us. Um, we have sleeping bags and a bag in the front um, that we, if it's real cold, we'll take out the sleeping bags. If it's not so cold, we'll just throw a blanket. We've got the blanket and stuff in the compartment under here. Um, we've got our two lamps on the side if you want to read. Um, and the Dodge Grand Caravan, it comes with a um, middle console on top uh, TV player, so if you want to watch a movie before you go to bed, you have that option, and uh, quite a comfortable night's sleep. Um, we had no problems, we both had plenty enough room, and um, so, sweet dreams on that, and uh, I'll uh, close out this part, and then we'll close out the video. Okay, one final tip before we close it before we close out. Um, this is another one of those folding stools. This one is a nine inch one. I highly recommend that you get one of these to set at the each of your doors um, for getting in and out when you've got it set up for the bedroom. It's a quite a long step out from there. So um, you will appreciate having these and <coughs> doubles as, you can use it as a footstool um, when you're sitting in your camping chair. Um, so that closes out our video of the Van Packers Dodge Grand Caravan Camper Conversion Kit. Highly recommend this product. We are so pleased with it. We had other options we had looked at, and this was by far the standout winner. So wishing you, like us, making memories one campsite at a time. Bye.